there are people who will answer those questions, but I can tell you from where I sit that uh, the numbers being bandied around are ridiculous, to say the least. The current administration recognizes that agreement, and it is on that basis that we will be deploying our troops, and also in compliance with the UN regulations and UN requirements and uh, uh, the UN uh, peacekeeping efforts. So we are very clear, and I am very clear in my mind, that Kenya has satisfied all legal, constitutional, and international obligations to facilitate the deployment of this, uh, of this, of this uh, pol police uh, contingent. Countries in the developing world, including Kenya, pay between five and eight times more for interest for the same resources that are available in the um, global markets. So um, the conversation that we had with the United States is that they will lead and they will champion. And we appreciate that everybody has now come to agree that we need a fairer international financial architecture. And it is the reason why the United States have committed $250 billion, and specifically $21 billion to the concessionary window of the World Bank mm -hmm. that will support developing countries countries like Kenya access concessionary financing so that countries do not spend more in debt repayment and in managing the effects of climate change, but they will spend more in development, in health, in education, in social services. And I am very proud of the outcome of my meeting with President Biden and by extension the US government, both President Biden and the, 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 the senators and, and the congressmen have agreed to double U.S. contribution to the IDA window so that we can be able to do more uh, with our resources and be able to access more concessionary funding for the development of our countries and also for our development. Um, we were discussing not necessarily uh, a Kenyan product. I think there are issues we discuss about Kenya and how we can access uh, resources within the multilateral uh, development banks, how the U.S. was going to work with Kenya in providing guarantees uh, for us to access the markets, and many other things around, around Kenya. Your government has defended your use of $1.5 million for this particular trip. But back home, Kenyans are saying you are overspending, but at the same time you have asked Kenyans to tighten their belts for you to recover the economy. What do you say about this? I think the expenditure on my trip are completely exaggerated. They are actually bordering on the ridiculous. Um, I, I am very careful about the resources that I spend. In fact, I have cut down on funding to my office. I have cut down on uh, funding to different government agencies. In fact, I have reduced by 30% recurrent expenditure in this budget so that we can accommodate, we can live within our means, as I have said, and we can push more resources to the realm of development, to the realm of education, to providing health and doing the things that matter, including cash transfers to citizens. So I am very careful about uh, how government spends. There are people who will answer those questions, but I can tell you from where I sit that uh, the numbers being bandied around are ridiculous, to say the least. That Goa is working pretty well, even in, even in its current form. Last year, for example, Kenya exported 544 million US dollars, close to 70, 80 billion worth of goods to the United States quarter free, uh, uh, duty free. It is a window that gives us opportunity to expand our job creation facilities in our special economic zones. I think last year we added 12,000 jobs under this, under this program and I am very happy with the outcome of my conversation both at the Hill and at the White House 
And I want to thank President Biden for the support that he has given for the renewal of AGOA, which is not going to be just a Kenyan facility. It is an African facility that will support the whole continent access uh, market for our products so that we can create jobs back at home. In fact, uh, this morning I had a conversation with uh, the trade uh, office uh, officer, uh, uh, Thai, together with um, Rebecca Miano, our Minister for Trade. And I think we're making huge progress in making sure that Kenyan products can have access to American markets the same way we have negotiated the economic partnership agreement with the EU to uh, facilitate trade and, and um, access to market for goods from Kenya. I am very happy with the progress that we have made uh, with, with what we have done on expanding trade opportunities and opening up markets for our goods. Three things. Number one, uh, the deployment of our security officers to Haiti um, has been endorsed by cabinet. Both houses of parliament have ratified. We have met all international requirements. And in fact, we have complied with the very court order you are referring to. The court asked us to have a, an agreement signed between Kenya and Haiti, specifically to facilitate this deployment. The Prime Minister of Haiti traveled to Kenya and we witnessed jointly the signing of that agreement uh, that now paves way and in compliance with the directions of the court. And beyond that, uh, I have also asked the Transition uh, Presidential Council in Haiti, the new uh, arrangement there, to ratify and to confirm that they recognize the agreement that was signed between Kenya and witnessed by the former Prime Minister and myself. And I have it in writing that they confirm that the current administration recognizes that agreement and it is on that basis that we will be deploying our troops and also in compliance with the UN regulations and UN requirements under uh, the UN uh, peacekeeping efforts. So we are very clear, and I am very clear in my mind, that Kenya has satisfied all legal, constitutional, and international obligations to facilitate the deployment of this, uh, of this, of this uh, po police uh, contingent. And we will uh, be doing it because we also are a responsible global citizen. We believe that the responsibility in Haiti belongs to all countries and all people who believe in self-determination, who believe in democracy, who believe in the rule of law, and who believe in peace. And we have done this in 47 other countries. Kenya has been in 47 other countries supporting peace, and Haiti is not going to be an exception. We will show up in Haiti the same way we have done 